Let's take a look at the net ionic equation for AlOH3 plus H2CO3. This is aluminum hydroxide. This is carbonic acid. So when we look at the net ionic equation here, when we look at net ionic equations in general, first thing we do, we balance the molecular equation. And I've already done that. If you need help with these coefficients here, there is a link at the end of the video. Next thing is we write the state for each of these substances here. So hydroxides, if you know your solubility rules, in general, they're insoluble, except for things in group one, like sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide. So we're gonna call this aluminum hydroxide a solid. Carbonic acid, it will dissolve in water, so it's gonna be aqueous. It's a weak acid though. We'll talk about that in a moment. Aluminum carbonate, let's look that up. So here's aluminum, here's carbonate. We go across slightly soluble. When something's slightly soluble, we say that it's a solid when we do net ionic equations. So a little bit dissolves, but we're going to call it a solid because most of this will be in the solid form because it's insoluble. So that's going to be solid, and then water is a liquid. And here's the thing with net ionic equations. Solids, we don't split those apart. So we're going to keep this as a solid. And then here, another solid, keep those together, and liquids, we don't split those apart into their ions. So at this point, we have our H2CO3, our carbonic acid. It is aqueous, but remember it's a weak acid. So weak acids, we're gonna keep this aqueous, but we don't split weak acids apart in net ionic equations. So it turns out that we really can't split anything apart. So our complete ionic equation that's going to be the same as the net ionic equation. So this is the net ionic equation for aluminum hydroxide plus carbonic acid. And again, this is kind of the tricky one here. H2CO3, it's aqueous, but we don't split it apart because it's a weak acid. You may see this with other products written. Sometimes you'll see that. But if you're given this equation here, asked to write the net ionic, this is the way you do it. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.